Okay, so now we're pretty much finished with the side. There's just a few things that um, I'd like to talk about. First, let's verify all the operations and see if it's doing what we want it to do. So I can go verify selected operations, and I have them all selected. And then I can go play. And so it's drilling the holes, cutting the slots and the access holes there, and then contouring the bearing holes with the finish pass. And that all looks great. The next thing that I do, and I ask my kids to do as well, is just for my own benefits. It's a little scary sometimes when you first start up the machine and you hit play, or start it up and it's starting to cut. You kind of want to know what it's going to do and where it's going to be moving. And so what I like to do is in the parameters, when I, here I selected the parameters for the drilling. If you remember, we had the linking parameters, which told us, you know, we drilled a little bit deeper than the thickness of the material. But in the home reference points, you can detail where do I come from and where do I go to? Where do I approach from and where do I retract from? when I use this when for this operation. And what I like to do is come in at the origin, okay, the X, Y origin, but come in a little bit high, about two inches. And so what I expect the bit to do before it drills the holes is to center itself over the origin and then start drilling the holes. The reason why I do that is if the bit doesn't do that, when I first start the operation, I know something is wrong, and I know I've zeroed something wrong on the machine, and this helps me prevent mistakes. And so um, you don't have to worry about the home position. The home position has to deal with an automatic tool changer, and we're not going to deal with that. So I'm just going to click OK here. And notice what happens when I regenerate that operation. It brings these two lines up. And let, let's zoom into that location there, zoom out, zoom in here. That's basically the approach, okay? So it's going to come to here and then go drill the eight holes. And then it's going to retract to here when it's done. And that's fine because when it retracts there, we need to change the tool anyway. And so we want to get it, it's going to go there and then, in fact, it's going to move up to the tool change location. And then you're going to have to change that tool. The tool change location is defined by the millings, um, the control software, not in here. So now we switch bits and we go to the quarter inch bit. So what I'm going to do is click the parameters for the first contour. And I am going to go to the home reference points. And I'm going to go approach. And again, hit two inches. I'm not going to retract on this operation, though, because I don't change bits when I'm done. I'm dealing with the same bit. So now I'm just going to go to contour, the second contour with that bit, home reference point. And I'm going to retract when I'm done with that bit. And go to pin check. So now, if I select all, regenerate everything, you can kind of see what's going to happen. Starts up there, it went pretty quick, drilled the holes, returns back, then the bit change, and then it does everything else. The one thing that we could do is you realize how um, this is cut out. It cuts out these, this, this slot, this hole, this hole, I'm talking about the contours, and then this slot. And then it goes all the way back here. Cuts this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole, and this hole. It would be a little quicker if once the bit was here, it jumped to this hole and worked this way. Yes, it's going to take a little bit more time to do that in the master cam. However, if we do that, and it will save time on the machining. It may not be worth it if you're only machining one part, but if you're doing dozens and dozens of the same part, it makes sense to reduce the machining time because it will save time overall.